Composed of over 17,000 islands, Indonesia is the largest archipelago in the world. It is located in Southeast Asia and offers both geographical and cultural variety. It is home to various fauna and flora, as well as a multi-ethnic population. Indonesia's national motto is Bineka Tunggal Ika, meaning unity and diversity. Show toleration and understanding despite one another's differences. This is the basis for the Pancasila, an ideology weaved into the fabrics of Indonesian society. We attach as preamble to our constitution the Pancasila. Panca means five, sila means principle. The official foundational philosophical theory of Indonesia, Pancasila, derived from the Sanskrit words panca, meaning five, and sila, meaning principles, it is composed of five principles, each having a symbol on the Garuda Pancasila, the national emblem of Indonesia. The star representing the first principle, belief in the Almighty God. The chain represents the second principle, just and civilized humanity. The banyan tree represents the third principle, the unity of Indonesia. The bowl represents the fourth principle, democracy guided by the inner wisdom in the unanimity rising out of deliberations among representatives. And the rice and cotton representing the fifth principle, social justice for all people of Indonesia. As the foundation of Indonesia's whole ideology, it was taught to us at a very young age, so we respect everyone around us and so we have a strong sense of patriotism and appreciation for a diverse people and culture. The one thing we Indonesians have in common, despite our differences, is that we're all still Indonesian, one country, one nation. The cultural diversity of Indonesian music is shaped by the scenes of Indonesia, nearly thousands of Indonesian islands having its own cultural and artistic history and character. The music in Indonesia predates historical records where various native Indonesian tribes often incorporate chants accompanied with musical instruments in their rituals. Thus, a wide variety of Indonesian music can be identified throughout different forms of Indonesian performing arts such as dance as well as theater. Encompassing sculpture and carving, painting, textile design, beadwork, basketry, and other forms, the visual arts of Indonesia are as abundant as they are diverse. Some of these forms have been shaped by ancient cultures of Asia, whereas others have drawn influences from more recent cultural contacts. Such interaction, combined with local artistic and aesthetic sensibilities, has produced a spectrum of styles that are unique to the various people and regions of the country. Indonesia also has an especially rich and varied tradition of textile design. In Java, the leather puppets for Wayang Kulit performances, a traditional form of puppet theater play, are carved and painted so as to cast a lightly tinted, lace-like shadow when held against an illuminated screen. The metropolis of Indonesia shines, its glow coming from billboard LEDs and car lights. Daerah khusus ibu kota Jakarta, or Jakarta for short, lies on the island of Java and is populated by over 10.562 million people. It is decorated by architecture of different historical and cultural backgrounds, such as colonial buildings built when Jakarta was still known as Batavia under Dutch rule. For instance, Kota Tua, or Old City directly translated, contains Dutch architecture mostly from the 17th century. 
Jakarta is a city in a limbo between the past and the future, where times collide. There are several famous monuments that reflect this. The most well-known monument in Jakarta is the Monument Nasional, or as the locals call it, Monas. Standing proudly at 137 meters tall in the middle of Medan Merdeka, or Freedom Square in English, is an obelisk topped with a bronze flame. It is home to the first red and white flag of Indonesia, which was flown on 17 August 1945 at the Proclamation of Independence. Besides to commemorate its history, Jakarta also has monuments to represent its progress, such as the Selamadatang Monument, or Welcome Monument. It was built in the 1960s in preparation for the Asian Games 4 to beautify the city as well as welcome visitors. Jakarta is also rich in terms of cuisine and offers a variety of food and beverages. While the Japanese, Korean, and Western restaurants can be found in most streets, Jakarta also has its own regional cuisine, such as Katoparak, which consists of tofu, vegetables, rice cake, and a rice vermicelli served in peanut sauce, and martabak, a type of pancake that is often sweet but can be served savory as well. Accompanying Jakarta in Indonesia's long list of cities is Tangerang. Tangerang is the biggest city in Banten, Indonesia, located on the western border of Jakarta. The southern part of Tangerang, Tangerang Selatan, is home to the second established school of the Binus community, Binus Koserpong. Tangerang got its nickname, Kota Benteng, which means Fortress City, from the people when Prince Sugiri of the Benten Sultanate built a 2.5-meter monument to mark the Sultanate's territory from VOC's territory during the Dutch colonial. Thus, the people called the monument and the territory Tangran, now Tangrang, which means marker. Tangrang is famous for the acculturation of Chinese and Indonesian cultures, going way back to the arrival of Chinese explorer Cheng Ho in the early 1400s, influencing Tangrang cultures like the celebration of Pet Sun Festival, also known as the Dragon Boat Festival, on the fifth day of the fifth month of the Chinese calendar, or the typical Tangrang sweet Kue Kranjang, a glutinous cake often enjoyed during the Chinese New Year. Now, going all the way to the east of Tangrang in Jakarta is Bekasi. When you hear the word Bekasi, you will probably think of Jakarta since Bekasi is one of the neighboring cities of Jakarta and Tangrang. You're not wrong. Bekasi is also home to one of our sister schools, Bino School Bekasi. But I bet you didn't know that Bekasi is one of the oldest cities in Indonesia and has a history of being the capital city of the Kingdom of Tarumanagara with its name being Daya Sunda Sembawa at that time. And the Kingdom of Tarumanagara dates all the way back to the 5th century. If you'd ask me about Bekasi, I'd describe it as a smaller version of Jakarta, still having all the essentials like shopping malls, cafes, schools, office buildings, and everything else, but it's less hectic as well. Bakasi also has a diverse range of traditional foods depending on what you like. Food from Bakasi is somewhat similar to the traditional foods from Jakarta, but with more of a twist. Like the sour yet delicious vegetable soup, also known by locals as sayur asam. Or, if you prefer something sweet, I'd recommend the crispy, sweet, and savory kuehrangi with coconut shavings and brown sugar on top. Well, Bekasi is only one of the thousands of cities in Indonesia, but it's no surprise that it's also one of the busiest too, with over 2,543,676 inhabitants. Jakarta, Tangerang, Bekasi. These are only three of the hundreds of cities in Indonesia located in only one of the five major islands. From the collision of times in Jakarta to the fusion of cultures in Tangram, and going far to the prehistoric kingdoms of Bekasi, Indonesia proudly embraces the unity and diversity, uniting more than 800 spoken languages 
with one Bahasa Persatuan, Bahasa Indonesia, or the Indonesian language, unifying more than 1,000 ethnic groups as one nation, Bangsa Indonesia, bridging more than 17,000 islands together as one, Anah Air Indonesia. Our homeland is rich with differences, be it geographically, culturally, ethnically, you name it, there's always a mixture of everything. Mineka Tunggal Ika. And with that, Indonesia is proof that there is beauty in diversity.